It's no secret that Cortana took on a slightly different tone with Halo 5, and I don't think that that's a tone that a lot of people liked, myself included. Her character is almost completely different, and in my eyes, it undermined the bittersweet moment in Halo 4 where Cortana tells the Chief that she won't be going home with him. My opinion of Halo 4 was mixed, but even I've got to admit that that scene is difficult to sit through knowing that your best friend is going to die, or even worse, knowing what came next for her character. But I suppose it's all down to your own interpretation in the end. Regardless, Cortana is clearly slated for a significant role in Halo Infinite, and that brings the question to my mind. Save or destroy? A tour of light. Let's do a bit of recapping here. In Halo 4, Cortana was having some issues. I will not allow you to leave this planet! And by the end of the story, she heroically sacrificed herself to save the Master Chief from the Didact. And then in Halo 5, Cortana makes a grand return and takes the role of antagonist of the story. She takes control of the Domain and activates the Guardians in order to police and enforce peace among races, as well as building a new faction for Rogue AI called the Created. Looking back, that's a pretty big shift in character motivation and one that was confusing for a lot of people. And like I said a minute ago, in my opinion, it upset my view of the bittersweet ending to Halo 4 and severely undermined one of the most beautifully done moments that I've ever seen in Halo. They say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. This is the moment where we saw seeds of the Chief questioning things, and it took the loss of one of his closest allies to get there, with the irony being that Cortana displayed more human emotion than Chief has ever done. Now for those of you who didn't know, there was a compilation of stories released on October 25th, 2016 called Tales from Slip Space, and one of these stories, named Dominion Splinter, written by Frank O'Connor, help bridge the gap between Halo 4 and 5 somewhat. The basic synopsis would be that a splintered fragment of Cortana found her way into the Forerunner domain after the Didact's flagship, the Mantle's Approach, attempted to enter emergency slip space. While inside the domain, she comes across another intelligence that denies her further access. Cortana explains more about herself, her creation, and that she could guide the intelligence if it allowed her passage. The intelligence continues to deny her access until it realizes that in reality, Cortana has been using one of the splinters to stall it while the other splinters penetrated the domain to give her full access. The intelligence then asks her what will happen next, and in response, she appoints it her protector and names it the Warden Eternal. If I'm being honest, I still didn't really like this story very much. I appreciated that it did fill in some of the gaps and answered some questions, but it's like I said in my last video, the reliance on external media to tell stories that should have been told in the games can be annoying at times. That being said, we don't know where the story's gonna go next, and with Infinite being so far off, we can only go by the snippets that we currently have. And boy, did we get a snippet. Aside from the E3 trailer showing off that Cortana is still clearly a huge plot point and presence in the game, recently a QR code was found in the trailer itself by Twitter user Zepyal. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly, but if not, feel free to insult my poor English. The QR code itself links to a 40 second audio file with some heavy footsteps followed by Cortana speaking. If anybody has not heard it, here is the full thing. But it is me. But let's face it, you've probably already heard it from Hidden Xperia's video. God damn you, Luke! Since then, I have seen lots of people speculating on what this means, but I might as well put my own two cents out there if you're interested. But my interpretation of this is that the Cortana that we hear in the clip is not the Cortana that we saw in Halo 4 and 5, but a different model entirely. Chief clearly does have a brand new AI data chip, and our law friends have speculated that it does house a new Cortana model, which I would be both frustrated and interested by. Frustrated because it almost makes me feel like some deaths have have no consequence in Halo, but I would like to see more before I fully commit to that stance, and interested by it because of this line from Halo 4. They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. 
It won't be me. You know that, right? That line still creeps me out somewhat, because imagine a scenario where we do get a new Cortana model. She looks like Cortana, she sounds like Cortana, but she is not Cortana. She could be a completely different character in her performance and delivery. I'd for sure be interested in seeing more of this if the new model was definitely set in stone, if not just to see how the two Cortana models would interact with one another. But then there's the question of what to do with a splinter, because ultimately that's what Cortana is in Halo 5. She isn't the full-blown original Cortana, she's a fragment, a splinter, that seems to truly believe in what she's saying, and what she's saying is implied to be incredibly deadly for anybody or any species that refuses to bend to her will. What can you realistically do? Is it better to try and save a friend or know when to put them out of their misery? I'm getting a very Mass Effect vibe when I think about it because it is ultimately save or destroy, blue or red. Would it even be possible to save her in some way or will we really have to put her down? In my opinion, if she's rampant and I mean truly broken, I'd destroy her just to save what she was. A potential new Cortana would be very interesting and welcome in my book, but I wouldn't see her as a cop-out replacement or a convenient retcon. She'd be a brand new character to me in the same way that identical twins aren't the same person. And that's really all I gotta say. Before I wrap this up, I just wanted to offer a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed or checked out the videos recently. We are so close to hitting 100k that I'm getting a bit panicked by it, not gonna lie. We also just got Discord partner, so that's great news. If anybody wants to hop into the server, please do using our new vanity link. It's discord.gg slash spearhead, yay! And also, I apologize for the lack of a comment time section in my last video. I did try to get it in, but I was on a timer and I could not get it done. With that being said, we do have some time today, so let's just crack on. What are your opinions on the SPV3 mod? I haven't played it in a really long time, but from what I do remember, it was a bit funky in some places, but for the most part, very good, very enjoyable, definitely recommend it. If you had to choose one of the armor sets from Halo 5 that weren't in any other Halo game to be an infinite, what would it be? Oh dude, it would be Seeker, no question. Great video as usual, Dave. What are three things that you would change about Halo 5 as a whole? Campaign, advertising, and the microtransactions, definitely. What is your favorite Halo 3 armor? Overall, I love the look of Mark VI, but my personal favorite would be what I use. That's the Rogue Helmet and Recon Full Body. What's your opinion on the Shrek film series? This is a serious question, and this is a serious answer. I used to like it, but goddamn, I hate it now. It's like Ice Age, it's just gone on for way too long, they need to kill it. In fact, I think they did kill it, but no, they're rebooting it. I don't know. It's terrible now, though. Thoughts on thumbs? What kind of thumbs are you talking about? Are you talking about the thumbs that are attached to my, uh, my my hands, or are you talking about the thumbnails for my videos? Because the thumbnails for my videos are expertly done by Steven Slack. Please go and follow him on Twitter, he's amazing, and I love him. I wish people would stop hating on Cat. Dave, do you feel the same? The law requires that I answer no. 